Well, we've already heard how successful Sheffield is becoming on the music scene, but now we turn to quite a different type of music, equally successful, and this time from rival city Leeds. Limited Company, that's a Leeds-based barbershop quartet comprising Stuart Weinberg, Howard Myers, Clive Landy and Steve Hall, have just won the final of the British Association of Barbers Shop Singers. So that's uh, congratulations. In fact, they've won the, the gold medal and they've all got mini gold medals around the neck. So that's uh, terrific. Now, this is a sort of la creme de la creme competition in the world of barbershops uh, quartet. So uh, how many groups took part? Oh, about 40 from the start, and then it gets whittled down through various stages until there's six left in the final. And that was our goal, to get in the final. And we won. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, just hearing you talk, I, I sort of had the mistaken impression you'd all sort of you know, answer at once and in, and in, and in unity. So it's marvellous really to get that. For how long have you been together as a group? We've been, been together, together now for just 12 months. <laughs> OK, I asked for it. Now, you can't, I'm not in real life all barbers, are you? What, what actually are you in real life? My name is Stuart Weinberg and I'm a company director. My name's Clive Landy and I'm a representative. My name's Howard Myers and I'm a wholesaler. My name's Stephen Hall and I'm in clothing. You look very pretty. Thank you. Yeah. You've traveled in ladies' underwear, you said. They couldn't quite hear what you said. Anyway, what I want to do now is actually get you to actually do the thing that you won the gold medal with, which is called what? Can you tame wild women? Well, we'll see about that after the programme. <laughs> When the circus came to town, J. Augustus Hempeck Brown bought himself a ticket to the show. Ho, ho, passed by all the acrobats, all the men in funny hats. He went to see the animals below. The animals below. He saw the trainer put his head into a lion's mouth. Yeah. Waited till the trainer man was through. He shook his hand and said, Pat Taming, why won't your wow? But here's one thing I'd like to ask you now. the tiger stand and eat out of your hand yeah. you made the hippo do the flippo honest it was grand and they all obey you but i wonder would a woman do the same though you're quite a clever guy would your expertise apply if you try to tame a dame a dame can you change wild women into sweet mild women when you get home at three, can you take out your key and open up the door and say, shut up, don't talk to me? Can you tame wild women so they'll always lead a sweet and simple life? If there's something you can do, then I've got a job for you. I wish you'd tame my wife, my wife. I wish you'd tame my wife. Okay, there you had uh, Limited Company, and that sound you're listening to was the sound of the premier barbershop quartet in the whole of this country of ours. So congratulations to you. Open to offers, are you? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more offer. Just sing us out with what? How are you going to keep on down on the farm? We'll say goodnight. Limited company. How are you going to keep them down on the farm after they've seen Paris? How are you going to keep them from Piccadilly, jamming around and painting the town? How you gonna keep them away from harm? Hey, that's a mystery, oh. Well, they'll never want to see a rake or plow. And who, and who the deuce can probably boo a cow? How you gonna keep them down on the farm after they've seen Barry? Oh.
Tommy Atkins sent his mother dear a postcard from Paris. He told her of the famous places that he'd been.